and I'm all for it. And my son is gay. And this is a wonderful, happy event. It is, huh? You and this motherfucker. Why don't you oh, go sit you, in the shade? You're judging me. I sure am. You sure are. I sure are. Yeah, well, I'm judging you. I, you're I know, on your way you're to hell. Sign. You're on your way to hell. Well, if I'm on my way to hell, let's just. Came out just for this. We're all here to have fun. And I'm having fun. Day. I'm having fun. You're you go ahead and have fun. You're on your others. way to hell. You're on your way to hell. Have fun. Got, I speak for Christ. Well, yeah. I speak for what the Bible says. The Bible says He's that. He's probably embarrassed a, that you're here. You yeah. Know, there, are, this for there, are, there are other people that are going to hell like yourself. No, no, I'm on the side. Yeah. Well, well, like I said, you have to talk to them at this point. I'm planning to stay. Maybe about a block down that way. It would be helpful to my ministry. I'm your a, ministry? I'm a United name? Methodist pastor over here at St. Mark's United Methodist Church. Are you? Uh, and what you're doing are you is not helping my ministry. It is. What is your yeah. ministry? Yeah. So I'm a pastor at the United Methodist what Church. What does that got to do right with what you're here. doing here? So there's a lot of sodomite pastors. Yeah, so so the problem is I'm trying to work a ministry of reconciliation. I think we've been entrusted with a ministry of reconciliation. Do you call them to repentance? And the work I absolutely do, but I call them to repentance in the grace of God, right? And I understand that God's work has been to bring people together. Christ is continually opening the kingdom of God to new people so that we can come and enter into God's So grace. you're saying that God's kingdom now is open to sodomites? Absolutely, sir. What about about first absolutely, Corinthians by chapter God's six? Grace and thanks be to God. What about first Corinthians chapter six? Yeah, I, I understand the clobber passages. Right. I've read the books. You might want to take a look at uh, God's Yes to Same-Sex Marriage by Mark Ochtemeyer. He's a seminary pastor. You might want to take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter yes. 6. It hasn't changed. Yes, I'm, I'm familiar with that, but right. I think your interpretation may be mistaken. Oh, no. Uh, it I, says what it says. I, I'd encourage you to go take a look at Mark Ochtemeyer's Bi the, the Bible's Yes to Same-Sex Marriage. It's it a says, commentary on exactly the scriptures you're talking about. He's yeah. a seminary professor right over here at Dubuque. And uh, I think it would be helpful. Anyway, the parade's starting, so if you could move along, it would be helpful to my ministry. We're not going to move so along. You're, you're we're here to call people. You're undermining people my ministry. I don't care about your ministry. Okay, well, I think, you, I think I your ministry. That, I think your ministry stinks. You're full of hate, dude. You stand up. Everybody should love one another. You don't know what love is. Everybody, you think it's love. You know what love is. It's you're, the most you're valuable confused. thing we have, and everybody should be able to. Sodomy is about lust, not love. No, thank you. Unitarian Universalist Society. No, thank you. Trying to hide something? No, I'm just trying to block you from the door. Why? You can't take it away! You will never take our pride away! You will never take it away! You will never! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
you're on your way to hell and you're taking a lot of people with you. Well, depending on God's grace. And you're taking a lot of people with you. We're just giving you a friendly warning. We're just giving you a friendly warning, folks. You're on your way to hell. Giving you a warning. Turning from sin. Where do you guys think you're going when you die? Straight to hell. Straight to hell. Yeah, like you got the you got that one right. We didn't pray to save every night just not to go to hell. All right. Why would you want to go to straight to hell? Because you hate God. We do. You do hate God. Jesus says the worm dieth not, fire's not quenched. Doesn't sound like a place I'd want to be going.